Hi and welcome to this Onshape tutorial. Today we're going to look at the Revolve feature in Onshape. And as you can see on screen, we have four challenges and activities to work through. The first activity or challenge is going to look at creating a Revolve using simple straight lines. We're then going to progress to looking at using splines and creating a more complex shape like a vase. And then we're going to move on to controlling the angle and creating a multi-bodied revolve as you can see in the top left hand corner. And what we've got on screen is a number of tabs as you can see at the bottom. So this tab here, which we're on at the moment, okay, gives us an overview of the different activities and if we want access to the tutorial videos then we can click on the symbols as you can see here and that will link to those uh, YouTube tutorials. We've also got a tab here if you're interested in any other resources or tutorials, you can use the links for the different platforms. And for this activity, we have a copy of the drawing, and we also have a copy of the final model, which we can use as reference. This file or this activity will have been shared with you. So you'll have access to these tabs at the bottom to start with. However, when you come to this tab here, okay, which is the part studio, you may have some different symbols which I can't see on my screen and also you will not see the symbols at the top. So what you've got to do is create a copy because at the moment, okay, you're just viewing this document, okay, or this file and it's important to create copies so therefore you can start to edit. So if you go up to this area here, you'll be given an option to create a copy or you could go into the free lines here and go create copy workspace that will then give you the option to save okay this into your own area of on shape to work on so once you've created a copy of your design we're going to click on a plus and select create part studio that will appear in the tabs at the bottom after a few seconds and we can drag this along where we want to and we can right click and actually rename it as well so it's good to rename these because then you've got something to reference when you go in between okay, these tabs. So what I'm going to do to start with is look at the drawing. And we can see on the drawing, okay, this is 200 millimeters in diameter, 100 millimeters in total height, and we've got this V groove at 90 degrees. So if we click sketch, I'm going to sketch on this front work plane, press N to normalize, I'll click on the cube. And I'm going to select a corner rectangle and I'm going to drag it from this corner. We're going to type in 100 because we're dimensioning, we're going to draw half of this basically. And we're going to type in 50 there. Okay. Now, I made a slight mistake because you can see I've got 50. I need to go back. Okay, and actually type in 100. So it's always good to use the references and check. Okay, on here your critical dimensions. So basically I've sort of drawn, okay, half of a box around here. So we're gonna draw this section in next. So we go back to here. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in. And I'm gonna use the line tools, alpha line, or select up here. And I'm just gonna draw in, okay, two lines like so. I've snapped them to this edge here. And what I'm gonna do is select those two there and I'm going to add a relationship a perpendicular. That means it's 90 degrees between those two lines. And you can see when I hover over it, that sort of constraint appears on those lines. I'm going to press D for dimension, or click dimension. And I'm going to dimension this. Okay, 25. Okay, 25 from there. And that center point, okay, will be... 50 like so. So it's fully defined in dimension because it's all black now. So we're going to go up to, and we can save this sketch like here, or we can just go straight into the revolve. It's up to you, it doesn't really matter. And what I'm going to do is click on revolve, and it's selected that particular face. Now I might not want it to select everything, so I'm just going to come out of that, and I'm going to click on the section I want it to revolve. The axis is going to be that line of the sketch there. And because this is the sort of the first feature I'm creating within this design, I'm going to click new. And here you do have some other options which we're going to look at later in a bit more detail. But full means it's going to go 
all the way around 360 degrees. Okay, one direction allows us okay to control a certain angle and flip that okay in front or behind the sketch. We've got symmetric. So if we did this 180, okay, and go from top view, you can see it's rotating it 90 degrees either side of the sketch. Okay. And if we, let's have a look, click on two directions and click top. Okay. What we've got is we can control it and you can see here that this dimension on numbers changing. And we've also got this one here where we can control that as well, as you can see. So it's sort of like offsetting it a little bit from the sketch. Uh, but in this case, it's just going to be a full, and I can click the green tick to confirm. Now, if I've done something slightly wrong, okay, I, I can always go right click on here. I can go edit sketch. I can go back in and update these dimensions. And I, I can also go and edit the feature in case I've I'd rotated it 180 degrees instead of 360 and confirm that. The other thing we can do here as well is rename the part as well. So we can type in the name of the part if you wish. And everything we're going to do, okay, is to right click on this and we're going to go assign material. So we're going to give this a material and we're going to click in here and we're going to start typing ABS. I'm going to choose the top one and click the tick. So if we come back to this here and we go on display mass properties and select this, okay, it's giving me a mass of 2.926 kilograms. And if we go on to here and select this, okay, it's giving me the same okay mass properties. So that's a very easy way to check. Okay, if your design, what you've created here in a tutorial matches, okay, the design that uh, you intended to create. So if there was a difference in mass, you need to check one, you've applied the same material, which is ABS, and then two, you've got to go and have a look at some of the dimensions which you may have made a mistake on. Thanks for watching, and if you found this content helpful, please click like and subscribe. And also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description. I'll see you on the next one.